Hello, friends. Okay, I'm gonna sit to wait. And we'll wait for our, everybody to come on. And I'm gonna post my shopping link right here in the comments. So everything you're about to see is gonna be available right here. RayaHopeBeauty.com is where you can find all the makeup and the tools that I'm about to use. I pinned it there so it'll stay. Um, so when you do come on, let me know where you're watching from. Say hello. If you've never seen one of my tutorials before, go ahead and hashtag newbie in the comment. If you're watching this on the replay, hashtag replay in the comment so I can see who's watching it on the playback. Um, as soon as I get off, I will post the full product list in the comments. Um, and like always, and you're going to hear me say this like 5 million times, um, just message me if you have, um, oh shoot, I forgot I changed my password. Yeah, it kicked me out. I got it. Okay. Um, it's kicking me out again. Oh wait, I didn't change my password on that. Okay, try on that. It kept kicking me out. Weird. All right. Got it? Mm -hmm. Thank you. So Let me know. Um, I forget what I was saying. But, um, oh. I think I was saying if you need to be color matched, <laughs> which you're going to hear me say like a million times in this live. Um, but yes, if you need to be color matched, just message me a selfie facing a window and I can give you a full recommendation. I always forget to get out my little hair thing. Hello guys. Welcome. Welcome. Hi. How are you guys? So I wasn't really like sure what kind of makeup look I wanted to do today. So we are going to do, um, I put my foundation on that way too soon. Look at that. Um, I wasn't sure what kind of makeup look I wanted to do today, but I think we're just going to do some tried and true favorites and get the hair out of my mouth. Some tried and true favorites of things that are unfortunately sad face all around going to be retiring soon. Um, so, what better way to give them a, a really good farewell than using them until they're gone? <laughs> um, my top is from Style Snob. I'm actually going to be going live on my Facebook page right where you're watching me um, doing a try-on haul with her boutique in about, I mean, as soon as I'm done with this. Um, so probably like, I think my lives usually are like 30 minutes. So in like half an hour, I'm going to be live to do a really fun try on with this dress and then a lot of other really, really, really cute springtime, boho, feminine, really cute stuff. She has a really unique, um, style and I love when she, when she dresses me because <laughs> it's normally not something that I might pick myself. Um, just because I have a little more edgy of a style personally, but I love her choices. Love, love, love. So I think you guys are really going to like it too. Oh, I can't believe all the products are retiring. I know. So here's the thing. Let's, let's just get this out of the way. So I had a phone call meeting with one of the head executives of Unique because I was the same way. I was like, what? The H-E double hockey sticks is going on over there. Why are you getting rid of all my favorite things? Like what's wrong with you? <laughs> And I had this big conversation with them. And basically, I felt a lot better after the phone call, to be honest. Um, I felt very reassured. They are not just getting rid of things just for fun. Um, a lot of things are just being reformulated because they're old. Um, and they're not, like, up with the times. They might not be as healthy as they could. They might not be as light as they could. They might have longer long longevity um, of some products. So I have, like, all the faith like my faith was restored after the conversation so I know it can be very like sad and daunting to see like so much going and being retired but yes revamp is the perfect word Trisha they are completely all the things that you're seeing that are leaving will be back in one shape or form okay that's all I can say I don't know too much but that's all I'm gonna say just have patience. I'm not a very patient person, so that's asking a lot. <laughs> um, we're trying to practice patience. We're trying to practice faith um, and trust that these products are going to be launching very soon. They did announce that they are going to be launching a total of 15 products within the next few months. So there is always a storm for the rainbow. So it is sad to see these products that we love um, and the colors we love go out of stock, but they will return. Maybe even better. Maybe even longer. Maybe cheaper. Maybe bigger. Who knows? Who knows? I don't know. I know nothing. But 
those were my vibes. Another thing that I was being reassured of is that the pressed powders will be restocking. Um, so I know the shades from Scarlet all the way through Taffeta are out of stock, but in my conversation, what I took from it is that those pressed powders will be restocking in the US. So if you missed out on your pressed powder, keep refreshing and I will be looking also. And if you're not in my tech subscribe, make sure you sign up because that's where I'm going to be alerting you guys when things come back in stock or being launched. Or if I find something out, I always text you guys. Um, and so this is how you can sign up for my tech subscribe. You're going to text Raya Hope, all one word, and you're going to text Raya Hope to the phone number 25456. So text Raya Hope, on your phone, like you're sending a text message, hey mom, what's for dinner? Except that message is gonna say Raya Hope, all one word, and the phone number is 25456. I write, I wrote it out there. If you um, forget or if you want me to tell you what it is again, just message me and I can give you uh, the, the phone number again. Okay, so what I'm doing now, which I realize I'm like going so snail slow, I'm just taking my liquid touch and we're just like applying a little bit on my fingers and just dotting it around my face. I'm gonna actually take a little bit more, that wasn't enough. And now we're gonna take the blending bud and we're gonna start to blend this in and just like bump up the coverage. But what I do, so how I like to put on my foundation, I like to get it like all on there, like very evenly, very nicely with the powder concealer brush, which if you don't have this, definitely make sure you put it on your wish list. It's so, so good for applying your makeup very quickly, very evenly, very softly. But what is so important with um, really flawless coverage are these blending buds. They really make a huge, gigantic difference on how smooth and flawless your makeup looks, what the outcome is. So if your makeup is ever looking cakey or heavy or just isn't looking like it's settling into your face as well as it could, definitely grab the blending buds. I wring them underneath the water before I'm ready to use them. So they're damp. So they're also adding in moisture into my skin um, while we apply. So like I said, they really do make a really big difference on how full of coverage your foundation looks and how um, just like the longevity of it wearing throughout the day. Is that a top or dress? It's actually kind of like a top tunic, but I'm going to give you guys a full um, try on haul with this dress and I'm going to show you the other colors it comes in too over here on Facebook as soon as I get off doing my makeup. So make sure you stick around um, and you can purchase any of it and I'll give you guys my coupon code during the try on as well. So definitely hang tight. I'm for sure going to give you guys all deets. Can you do a makeup look without so many steps? Just a basic primer. Yes, Lori, I actually did one. Gosh, what was it the, the other day, like last week where I did basically it was just concealer and pressed powder. Um, I also did one the other day using just the loose powder. So I try to give you guys really good overall makeup tutorials where they're, you know, mom looks or full coverage or dry skin or whatever. But I have all of those saved here on my Facebook and then also on my YouTube channel. So if you want to see a certain uh, type of tutorial, make sure you check out there because I've been doing these tutorials for four years. I have every kind of tutorial you could possibly want to see, I've done. Um, so if you want to see a particular one, you can always search through my video section here on my page, Raya Hope on Facebook. You can also search through my YouTube channel uh, if you search Raya Hope. And then I've also uploaded a bunch to my IGTV in the makeup tutorial section. So lots of options on all the content. What color concealer should I should I have to brighten uh, if my shade is eyelet? Amanda, you want the shade Organza. Yes, and let me know if you guys have any questions or if you need any recommendation for um, product. It, like for you, Lori, you want something that's very minimal with steps? Just message me and I can give you a recommendation on products or a routine for you that will fit that criteria that you're looking for. So just message me and let me know those things um, that you're looking for and I can give you a recommendation tailored to what you want. If I missed anyone's comment, just comment it again because I saw a bunch popping up. I'm sorry if I was looking down. So just comment that again. Do you ever wear lashes or falsies? I don't personally like wearing falsies that much just because I feel like they're really heavy on my eyes. Um, but I use the Esteem Lash Serum every single night before bed. And honestly, I get asked all the time if my eyelashes are real. So I don't feel like I need to wear them. And once I get to my mascara step, you're going to see why. 
Sometimes my face still looks cakey. What am I doing wrong? Lisa, uh, message me and walk me through your skincare routine and also what your products you're using in your facial routine. Um, but most of the time when your skin is looking cakey, it could be that you need to wash your makeup brushes, that you need to exfoliate more. Um, our exfoliating face mask is incredible for doing that. Um, also, you could... Um, Make sure you're using your blending buds. You probably need more moisture in your skin. So it could be a wide variety of reasons. So just message me. Yay, Linda, I'm so excited. Is lace darker than eyelet? No, lace is going to be lighter than eyelet. Eyelet will be like the one shade up from lace. Can you tell me what the orange sponge is? This is by Real Techniques. It's just like a flat. I like it because it's flat, basically. You can find it on Amazon or Walmart. And I love to use it with my Touch Behold Translucent Setting Powder. This is another product that is not going anywhere super super amazing it's good for setting your makeup so if you're looking for a product to set your makeup in the meantime before the pressed powders come back around um this is a really good product for that um doo -doo -doo. what can i do to keep my liquid foundation from sticking to the bottom of the bottle i shake it very good um that's a good question i've never been asked that before um i would try maybe to like squeeze the topper maybe turn it upside down. It could just be like the remnants of it. Um, you could try sticking something in there, like a spatula, like one of those thinner um, nail spat spatulas to kind of move it around, but it might be time to get a new one. Thank you so much for sharing. Um, Brooke, I have the full list of everything that's retiring on my Facebook page. It's like the latest post that I actually did. All right, so now I need to set my makeup because I have oily skin. If you do not have oily skin, um, if you have more normal skin, you may not need to set it. The setting powder would probably be good enough for you or even just leaving the liquid as is because it does dry into a powder finish. Um, but I love full coverage first off. And secondly, I have really oily skin. So I'm going to take my Kabuki brush and I'm just tapping it inside the pressed powder in the shade taffeta and then I'm just going to bounce this off my skin. If you are a similar shade and you're looking to pick up some pressed powder, the shade Poplin, which is still in stock, um, is exactly the same color as this. So that's also an option too for you if you still need to grab your pressed powder before that goes away. Yes, definitely message me. Sandra, shoot me a message. I can help you. I ordered the kudos in the eyebrow palette. Yay, I'm so excited. Okay, so now for contouring, I know our bronzer is out of stock already, so I have been really loving the Mineral Touch Press Powder in the shade Chenille. It's kind of funny because me and my unique girlfriends were actually talking about how we actually like this better than the bronzer, so it's a really good step um, if you still need a really good contour. It's very subtle. I love that it's matte, and the pressed powder is actually made to blend, so it makes applying your pressed powder super easy and very quick. If taffeta is... Too dark, would eyelet be one to go with? No, if taffeta is too dark, then eyelet's going to be darker. If taffeta is too dark, you're going to want the shade lace. So what will you use while we are waiting on new pressed powder option? That is a good question, girlfriend. I've been wondering that myself. <laughs> um, I probably am going to just use the setting powder. And just pray that they launch the pressed powder fast. <laughs> What's a good color to contour if I use eyelet? Chenille. Chenille, the color that I'm using right now, is like the universal color for contour. It's so good. It's so subtle. It's so, so pretty. If uh, chenille you think is going to be too light on your skin, you can always go up one shade in the pressed powders, which all the darker shades are still in stock. So if you haven't grabbed your darker color for your contour, um, definitely do so. I was actually talking to a customer last night. She said something really smart. She said, I grabbed the shade chenille for contour, but until I build up the bravery to use it, I'm gonna use it as eyeshadow. And I was like, that is really smart because you get like a feel of the color and you can kind of build up the courage to put it on in your contour areas. But a key part of contouring is make sure that you get the powder concealer brush. It's so important. Taffeta is the liquid was dark for me, but lace was perfect. Yeah. Is Vivi Cree going away? No, it's not. None of the foundation options besides the loose and pressed powders are retiring. And to be honest, I think that they're just reformulating it because if you've noticed, we have two pressed powders and the loose powder. They're all the shades like don't match up with the liquid. So I think they really want to make everything very uniform to make it easy for color matching in to know what your color is. Um, so I think that's my personal understanding of it. They didn't say that. That's just me being 
I don't know, assuming, but I think that's the reason behind them retiring them, which if that's the case, I'm not mad about it at all because I've been thinking that for a long time. They need to consolidate and they need to make it more uniform with the line to my, my personal opinion. So I think it's a good strategy. It's a good business move and it's going to be easier for us um, to know what colors match, you know? Okay. So now for blush, my fave. We're going to do the pressed blush in the shade sisterly this is my favorite color it's so so pretty it gives you this really pretty gleam to your skin it gives you this really pretty flush color oh it's so gorgeous isn't that pretty if you haven't grabbed this blush color today this needs to go in your cart pressed blush in the shade sisterly is that isn't that so gorgeous i love that it really brings up my cheek structure like hello cheekbones all right, so now for highlight, another product that's going away are the highlights. All of the luminizers will be retiring powders and sticks. So stock up. I bought five of these yesterday <laughs> because I really love them. I really, really love them. Um, another kind of assumption that I'm making, again, I know nothing. I'm just assuming. I personally think that Unique might come out with like a highlight contour palette because we've been asking for one forever. That would be so cool. So... I think that's what might they that's what they might do who knows but that's my guess I, again I know nothing but um that would be really cool but in the meantime I'm not gonna be without my highlight isn't that so pretty this is the shade lustrous again if you do not have this color stock up on it it's so gorgeous it gives you this really pretty bronzy kind of glowy highlight I love 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 that color and again that was just the powder and look how pigment that pigmented that is isn't that good? All right, so now for eyebrows. Um, we're going to do the Lash Brow Comb, which is retiring. <laughs> I feel like they watched my live and they're like, check that. Check that. <laughs> my face is being retired. <laughs> but it's all right. Like I said, I have trust. I have faith that they're going to launch something just as good. So Lash Brow Comb I love because I love to comb through my eyelashes with this which helps my mascara not dry out because it's removing any of my sleepies, any of the powder from my foundations um, to get out of there. All right, so now we're gonna do the Brow Obsession Palette. This is a really good product if you have really sparse eyebrows because um, you're not gonna fly through the product and it's very easy to use. So you're gonna want the Lash Brow Comb and then you're gonna just tap it in the pomade and then tap it in both sides up whatever powder matches you the best. So this is the Brow Obsession Palette in the shade Brunette. I cannot stock up on anything that I need for everything else because they're uh, stuck. I know things are going really quickly. So if you haven't checked out the website yet, definitely do so. Uh, it's been so awesome highlight. Yeah, wouldn't that be cool? Yes, highlighters are going away. These lustrous eyeshadow, ooh, pretty. Maybe that's why the highlighter and the bronzer are tying. I know, see, that was my thinking, Vanessa. We're on the same wavelength. Tafta in the in the spray is darker than the powder. That's correct. I love sisterly me too. The hardest, uh, the hardest to take a take was losing the powder and the bronzer. I know. I felt the same way too, Katie. But I think that they're gonna come out with something really legit. Too legit to quit. <laughs> I was like, holy guacamole! I love that phrase. Or the brow palette. Yeah, Pat, you're going to love it. I'm a true skin, so what blush should I wear? Janice, sisterly would look so pretty on your complexion. What's the pink for? So this one is going to be a cream highlight, and this one's a powder highlight. Yes, the palette will be discontinued as well. But the brow pencils will be uh, sticking around. But the brow pencils aren't in stock until August. So to help us make it to August without having crazy looking brows, definitely grab your brow palette. You can always use both together as well to prolong the wear of both. So all in all, I'm here to save you guys money and hope your products last longer. So message me and I can tell you what to grab. I believe the blonde pencil is still in stock, but uh, the brunette ones won't be back, I think, until August. But they will not be retiring. Thank the Lord. Um, is that being discontinued? Oh, I heard the one. So, yes. So, now we're going to take the Brow Artist Brush. And this, again, is the shade Brunette. 
And what I usually will do is I just like to shape my eyebrows and then I'll kind of like color them in. Um, so again, on each side, you don't want to use too much pomade or else your brows will look waxy and shiny. It's not a cute look. So very lightly tap it in and then you're going to tap it into whatever powder matches better, which I love that they give you multiple options so it really matches well. And then I kind of press very lightly here. Wherever my tear duct is, go straight up. And that's where you know where to cap it off. And then I will draw to the arch, grab a little bit more powder, and then same thing down here. So again, just giving it structure, and then you don't want to give it structure throughout the tail. You want to just like follow your natural tail. And then once you've done that, then you can kind of fine tune it, and then you just color in basically. Um, the brush you're using. Yes. So the brush and the palette will be retiring. So if you haven't grabbed this brush yet, if you have the palette already, make sure you do so stat. Yes. Um, Maureen, I'm actually going to go live here on Facebook with the Style Snob Boutique. This uh, dress is from her sh boutique or tunic, however you want to wear it. Um, so I'm going to give you guys all the, the deets here and probably like, I think I'm like 10 minutes away from being done with my makeup. Thanks. Do you think there will be a sale on the retiring products? I don't think so because most of them are already gone. <laughs> you don't need a sale to sell these ones. They are definitely some favorites. So no. Um, okay. So now for highlight, I like to take the flat end and then I'd like to take one of the highlights. It doesn't matter. I, I kind of prefer the white one the best. And then this is just for cleaning up your eyebrow if you've messed up. Um, it's also really good for highlighting too, but I usually will just use it to clean it up if I went too high or too low or whatever. Not to shoot my own home, but I've been plucking my own eyebrows through this quarantine mess and I've done a pretty good job. Besides, this one's way thicker than that one. I take it back. <laughs> I retract my statement. <laughs> uh, what do you use for foundation? I use the liquid... Ooh, almost dropped it. I use the Liquid Touch Foundation in the shade Lace, and then I set it with the setting powder and the pressed powder. Um, will you, yes, as soon as all of this is done, I will definitely be doing my mom's makeup again with you guys. I just don't want to breathe on her, you know. <laughs> Looking out for mama. Uh, will you make... Yes, I already read the one. What palette is retiring? All of the Addiction palettes are retiring, and some of the pressed eyeshadows are retiring. I'm actually kind of sad about that, because I liked some of those colors, but... It is what it is. What is the closest eyeshadow to the medium brow palette? Probably the shade Gullible, I would say. Thank you. Okay, so now for today's eye look, we're going to do something really easy. And again, send it out with a bang. All of the Addiction palettes are retiring. You guys have known this for a long time, though. But Addiction Palette 1 and 4, which are like my favorites, are still in stock. So definitely snag that. So we're going to do the Addiction Palette 1 today, which is this top row here. It's like these champagnes, golds, and browns. And I'm going to take the fluffy crease brush and I'm going to tap it into the shade Chipper, which is just a matte brown, on my fluffy crease brush. And this is basically the only color we're going to use today. So the first thing I like to do with this is I'm going to very lightly, and light hand is really important, um is just to uh, kind of go back and forth in your crease just to dust this on and then I'll start to kind of swirl out onto the brow bone. As far as getting, wait, where'd that comment go? Um, oh, there it is. As far as getting foundation at the bottom of the bottle, you can put like three or four drops. Yeah, I'd be really careful with doing that though, Heidi, because it could change the consistency of the makeup. Already sucked up on gingerly. I know, me too. That was another thing. I put in an order last night and I ordered um, all of the, I ordered a couple of different uh, of my favorite lip glosses, like Lux. And then I ordered two or three, I can't remember, of gingerly, which is a pressed eyeshadow. And then I ordered probably 17 <laughs> prudent lip liners. <laughs> Just sent you a message. Can you color match? Yes, message me and I can give you a full recommendation. All I need is a selfie facing a window. A Zuba Cream Bisque and Hermosa Bronzer and I love the finish. Ooh, yay, Pat. I'm so glad. Yes, I will link. Um, I will actually be here on Facebook to give you guys outfit details. So if you want to hang around here on Facebook, uh, as soon as I get off with my makeup, which again, I'm probably like five minutes away from being done. 
um, I will be right back on to do a try on haul, which this dress um, or tunic, however you wish to wear it, uh, is from this boutique called Style Snob. And it's a really cute boutique. And I'm going to show you the other colors that this top comes in and all the things. Where did you get your palette to put them on? This is from Unique. It's, a, it's called the Refillable Palette. And it comes with like a cool mirror. But it fits five of the Addiction palettes in it, which I think is rad. But you can also put your pressed eyeshadows in it as well. Are they coming out with new products? Yes, we are. Good job, Samantha. I thought you were, I thought you were with Gingerly and Prudent. Yes, those are my faves. All right, so now that we've worked chipper into the crease and the brow bone, now I'm gonna take a heavier hand and really grab chipper, and now I'm going to just start kind of going ham on my eyelid. And just kind of pressing this on. I'm not really like swiping, I'm kind of pushing more so. And this is just gonna create a more in-depth look, just like so. It's a really, I get, I got asked the other day, can you do an eye look with just one eyeshadow? So whoever asked that, here you go. <laughs> but basically I like to blend it out first, then pop it on all over like this. And then you're going to really kind of create that depth in the outside corner like this by swirling and then sweeping just like that. And then you're done. Isn't that pretty? And this is one color. This is just a shade chipper from Addiction Palette 1, which is still in stock, you guys. So if you haven't grabbed Addiction Palette 1, definitely do so ASAP. Once it's gone, it's gone. What eye brush you're using, this is called the Fluffy Crease Brush. Teach us how to do a brow. I actually just did it. I already finished doing my eyebrows, and I kind of walk you through how to do one. So you can watch us on the replay, Carmen. To catch it. Uh, I always remember rainbow zigzag. That's right. Um, you always do eyeshadow. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Practice makes better, Roxanne. I grew up a tomboy, had no idea how to do makeup, and all I would do is I would put on makeup and I'd watch these tutorials and I would get the same product that the person was using and I would just practice, 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 practice. And that's why you have me. You can always message me and ask me, like, am I doing something wrong or does this look okay or whatever. All right, I'm going to take my crease brush and I'm going to grab the shade. Uh, I forget what this one's called, but it's just like the light champagne color that's in Addiction Palette 1. And I'm just going to pop this on the inner corner of my eye just to open it up a little bit so it doesn't look super um, dark and heavy. just like that. And now I'm going to switch brushes. I'm going to grab my liner shader brush and I'm going to take chipper one more time, which is the same color that I just put all over. And now I'm just going to line my under waterline, just like underneath your lashes with this. And this is going to give it more of like a cohesive finished look, but I really love this brush to do this step because it does all the work for you. It's angled, it's tapered, it's perfection. Yeah, so all of the Addiction palettes will be retiring. They will be launching one new Addiction palette a year, which I think is really cool. So if you don't have this refillable palette, make sure you get make sure you get it. Sorry, I thought I heard my kid crying. I'm like, what is that noise? I think they're playing. Are the Luminator stocks retiring? Yes, all the highlights are retiring. All right, so just lining this, kind of going slow because I don't want to overpower it, just like that. And then I'm going to take my eyeliner in the shade Perfect, which is not retiring, but the rest of the line is, except for the color Proper and then the color Perfect. Those two colors will be retiring, or I'm sorry, those two colors are not retiring, everything else is. So if you really love Pristine, which is the white eyeliner, make sure you snag that one because that one's going away. Yeah, so this is Addiction Palette 1, and this is just the shade Chipper, basically, with a little bit of the um, lighter champagne color. All right, so something I always do as well, I sweep underneath, and then I'll take my blending bud, 
and I'll kind of bounce this a little firmly underneath my under eye just to clean up anything that may have fallen. Sharpen this outside corner up a little bit. And then now I'm gonna take my setting spray. And I really will set everything very well before I go in with my mascara. Yes, the luminizers are retiring. Iridescent is gonna be the lightest shade. It's kind of like a white highlight. I used that in my tutorial, I think two or three days ago, which if you wanna watch the replay on that. Um, makeup brushes. I'll have to, you ha you'll have to look at the full list. I can't remember which makeup brushes are retiring, if any. I know a few are, like one or two, but I have that full list on my page. If you go to Rhea Coleman or Rhea Hope, I posted it everywhere yesterday. I'm gonna use for contour. I've been using the pressed powder in the shade Chenille for my contour. I used it today in the last tutorial. It's actually one of my favorites to contour with because it's so pretty. Um, they haven't announced what they're replacing anything with yet, so no idea. No idea for anything. No, the blush will not be retiring. If you want to see everything that is, you can go to my page, Rhea Coleman or Rhea Hope, and you can see the full list. Yes, Elizabeth, on my page. Rhea Hope or Rhea Coleman, and scroll down, and you'll see it. Okay, so now for lips, actually mascara. We're gonna do the lash primer first, which actually just won a bunch of awards for being the best lash primer, which I think is pretty cool. It's amazing because it gives your lashes so much length and volume, and it helps to hydrate your lashes, which will help them to grow, also helps them to curl. It is amazing. So if you have really short lashes and you're wanting to get some like really good length, definitely grab the lash primer. And I just put all of that in my hair. Good thing it's white. <laughs> I'm loving the dark root. Oh goodness gracious. Thank you though. <laughs> okay, so now for the 4D mascara, which is like my favorite mascara ever. It's so good, you guys. It's amazing mascara. Gives you the best length and volume ever. And it's easy to use. It doesn't flake. It has the fibers and the gel infused in it, so you get the best length and volume. So we're just going to do a coat of that from the base of the lash all the way up. Just like that. Oh, it's so good. Thank you. My earrings are from a company called 1110 Leather. I'll give you guys um, all of the details on Instagram as soon as I get off here. And those will all be in my Instagram stories, by the way. If you want to see that, you'll go to Instagram. So search me, Raya Hope, there. And then you can click on my profile picture on Instagram and my stories will begin to play. I also give you guys an update on the backyard um, construction craziness. So if you want to see that update, you can go to Instagram, go to the stories. But I love that this mascara is so buildable. You can do as many coats as you want without it getting like clumpy or heavy or spider leggy. That's oh, so good. Yes, chenille press powder is what I used for my contour. It's a really, really good one. I would make sure to snag it before everyone realizes you can use it to contour with. <laughs> Thank you. I like the 4D, but it transfers. So make sure to spray, set your makeup like I do before you do your mascara. And also make sure you're using the lash primer. It really makes a difference. Uh, the last lash primer, I think, is 20, I think they're both 24 or 29, but you can actually get them in a set, which will make them discounted. All right, so we're gonna do lip liner in Prudent. And again, all of the lip liners will be retiring, so make sure that you grab and you stock up on your lip liners while we wait to see what happens. All right, so lining my lips with this. And then, now I'm gonna go in with the liquid lipstick in the shade Stellar, which is being retired, so make sure that you snag it. Um, Ashley, you're gonna order right here, rayahopebeauty.com. That's where you can find all of the makeup that I've used, showing you guys everything. Um, rayahopebeauty.com. Yes, primer makes a huge difference. Okay, so liquid lipstick in the shade Stellar. 
such a good neutral. Take it all the way to the lip liner. Okay, and then now I'm gonna take my finger and blend that out to make it really soft. And then wipe off my finger. And then I'm gonna go in very quickly with the liquid lipstick in the shade Sparkling, which is also being retired, but it's a really, really gorgeous, like peachy nude. It's one of my favorites for ombre or lip lookout. And you're just gonna pop that right in the center and then blend. Oh, it's so pretty. So if you love any of these colors that are being retired, make sure you grab a few of them. Which again, the um, out of everything that's being retired, the liquid lipsticks will probably go first because they're so pretty. But both of those are being retired. So that was Stellar and Sparkling was that lip combo. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I love it. It's kind of like a brownie nude. I know it does match the dress. I didn't even intend that for that to happen. But um, if you did mess up, I went a little high over here. I'm going to take my brow artist brush. You can easily just clean that up. Just like so. Ta-da! So that was a whole makeup look. If you guys need any questions or if you need any help or if you need anything, just message me a selfie facing a window and I can give you a full recommendation on what products to use, what products to grab. Um, but yes, the liquid lipsticks that I use today will be retiring. Um, the pressed powders will be. If you want to see the full product list of all the things that are going to be retiring, you can go to my page, Rhea Hope or Rhea Coleman, to see all of that. But make sure you stock up, you grab them as soon as you can, um, so you're not without. But I have faith, Unique's going to definitely be launching some really awesome stuff. And then if you want to hear everything that I had to say about all the things that are retiring and just my general opinion, you can just uh, start this video over as soon as I press finish um, and you can catch that on the replay. But let me know if you guys need anything or if you have any questions or if you need to be color matched. I am now going to click the finish button and I will be right back on to do a try on haul with Style Snap, which is where this really cute little dress is from. So I will see you guys in like two minutes. So stick around here and I'll see you guys in a second. Bye.